Hi, my name is Matt with Melting Point. Today we're going to be showing you how to make a spark plug butterfly. These are really great for home welcoming gifts, wedding shower gifts, um, Mother's Day. Very easy to make. Um, anybody can make this, even a first time welder or hobbyist. So we're going to walk through the steps to complete one of these today. So the three parts you'll need to make your spark plug butterfly, the rod, this is a 3 16 inch rod from Home Depot, um, 3 to $4 a piece for these. Um, you're going to need four washers per butterfly. These are inch and a half outside diameter. Um, really anything close to that size is going to work fine. You can leave these rusty, you can clean them up with the wire wheel and paint them like I did with these. Um, I did leave the back sides unpainted so it's a good spot to uh, weld to. Um, and of course you'll need a spark plug. Um, the spark plugs, you can get this from your lawnmower or a mechanic shop. A lot of people you know, to discard these. Um, but you're going to want to make sure you remove any oil or grease from them before you weld to them. So once again we use our wire wheel to do that. It does a great job. Alright, at this point we're going to be cleaning the spark plug before we weld anything to it. I'm going to be wearing my safety glasses. We're going to be using a drill and wire wheel for this. Today I'm using my four and a half inch bench top vise. Does a great job for a small project like this. Um, we're gonna now knock the grease and oil off the spark plug so we can have a good contact point when we weld our rod on. ready to fire up the welder and mount the rod to the spark plug. Um, we're going to be using the MIG welder. Um, our shielding gas is ready to go. The tank is open. Um, I'm going to use a wire feed of about 5 out of 10 and then the voltage. This is pretty thin metal for the most part. So we're going to use a setting of 3 out of 5. So that should do the job just fine. Um, so I'm going to put my grounding clamp onto the vise, fire up the machine, get my gloves and helmet on, alright so we're going to position the rod about halfway down the length of the spark plug. When I come in to make the weld, I'm going to be coming in on a 45 degree angle to get the best penetration. I'm going to do two welds, one on each side, 180 degrees apart. Alright, now that the weld is done, we're going to go back and clean it up a little bit. We are going to be clear coating these, so I like to take all the, the char and the remnants of the weld off uh, just to give it a better look at the end of the day. We're going to use our wire wheel again. Now we can decide what colors we want to use for the wings. Uh, the nice thing about welding the rod onto the spark plug, um, the rod can now be your point of mounting to the vise. Alright, now to position my wings. Pretty uniform for the most part. As you can see on this, the welds are on the back side of the unpainted washer. Um, so that's what we're shooting for. We're going to come up from underneath and attach the washer onto the spark plug. So I'm going to keep my welder at the same setting for this. Um, it's really thickness wise, metal's the same as the rod for the washer, so it uh, should work just fine.
Alright, we've got two wings on. I'm going to go around and uh, to the other side and uh, finish this up. As you can see, we've got a little clean up still need to be done on the back side before we can clear coat these. Obviously we'll let them cool down before that happens. But um, all in all you got a completed uh, spark plug butterfly. Uh, looks great.